This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available on Amazon right now. Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob and today I have Scott Whiteside with me. So this show is for um, Good Talk Radio, it's also uh, for RV uh, Travel Buddy and because I think uh, we are going to talk about a product today, a, good product. a great product that will get you internet in the most unreliable places, let's say that. And so uh, it wasn't until uh, Sherry and I had a chance to actually test it, so we weren't going to even interview Scott until we were convinced this thing worked. So um, the, and let me paint the scenario for you really quick. And um, by the way, Scott's phone number will be on the screen, and so he's a great uh, source to find out about this product, how the, and, how, and basically it's to get the internet. So here's the scenario. If you're an RVer, you know internet's a nightmare, and a lot of you guys are using air cards, and, 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 and we know how expensive those can be. And so our circumstances, we're in a house that's kind of remote, and the internet is terrible out here, and um, we cannot function with the kind of internet that we could possibly get out here. So, like Century Lake, like three megabytes, pretty bad, it's really bad. So, I was talking to Scott, and he called me up because we we're going to do an interview for something for our viewers. And I said, "Wait a minute, no, 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 no. <laughs> we got a problem at this house that we're at, and this is the actual house." So. Uh, Scott brought the unit over. I'm just telling you my story, and then we'll go into what this unit is. Brought the unit over. It was the most simplistic thing I've ever seen. And uh, we tested it with live streaming. We did multiple machines and cell phones on it. And uh, it, was, it did a great job. So what is this product? So what we've got here is the RevGen Network's Got W3. LTE CPE mobile modem and router. Um, That's a lot to say. Yeah, it's a lot to say. <laughs> uh, very simple. Uh, it works on cell phone coverage. So currently we have AT&T and T-Mobile. Those are your two options. Doesn't have anything to do with whichever cell phone you already have. This is a completely different plan. Um, Verizon has talked about the possibility of doing something, but nothing is in the works yet. Um, so you subscribe, there's no contract to sign. It's, it's sort of like my dish as you go, pay as you go program with, with my dish customers, is you can turn it on and turn it off. You buy the unit up front, um, you give them the credit card for the monthly subscription fee, and they bill a month at a time, and when you're done using it, you call them and you tell them to turn it off, and then when you're ready to use it again next time, you call them and you tell them to turn it on. Yeah. Now, depending on the cell phone company you use, uh, uh, I'm using T-Mobile. Uh, the, the switch on and off is no big deal, but there may be a fee involved with AT&T. So every cell phone company is going to be a little different. But yes, yeah, so whenever you turn the system back on, there's a $25 activation fee. I believe it's with the AT&T. Once you turn the system off, you need a, another new SIM card for the next time you're going to turn it on. They're about five or eight bucks a piece, so they're very inexpensive. Um, so it just depends on, you know, you can get a couple SIM cards if you know you're going to turn it off and on a couple times during, throughout the year. Okay, so uh, one of the big things would be my first question is, what's, what's the limitations? What's the bandwidth there? So basically, uh, describe to me what, uh, what, the, the, what do you have for bandwidth with these? The company says in the literature that I've seen, up to, I believe it is 72 megs. I have not seen 72 megs. I have seen 56. I have seen 54. At my home, which isn't that far away from yeah. where Rob's at now, I'm averaging about 22. And I don't remember what you were getting I, here. I, I, I measured, actually did a speed test, 26. 26, see? Yeah. So I'm you get 26 megs sitting in your coach, out in the campground. Um, I was really surprised. I thought this was gonna be a great RV device, and it is. It is. But I've only sold to two to two RVers. This sells to people in Lapine, Oregon, Chamalt, Oregon, um, where you have horrible internet, but you have decent cell phone coverage. You could also get an external antenna to add to this device. If you're in one of those areas, the cell phone coverage is a little sketchy. 
um, it's just a coax based line that runs from the antenna into the, your device plug it into the back of your device and you've got the extra antenna to bring in more signal so uh, uh, the monthly on the T-Mobile service for me is seventy nine dollars and uh, uh, which is pretty much well, the same for everybody. Is yep, seventy nine ninety nine for T Mobile, ninety nine ninety nine for AT and T. Those are prices set by the cell phone carriers, not set by the company. Um, and the base unit right here is two forty nine one time. There is a fourteen day cancellation fee or process, so that if you get it, if you say, yeah, my cell phone coverage is great at my house, we ship it off to you. I build the account, I charge you everything, and for some reason it isn't working for you after going through some troubleshooting tips with me and with the company then if it's within 14 days the company and you cancel service the company will refund everything but $25 of your fee and the same thing um, if you want to return the box to me within that 14 day window you ship it back to me and I'll return all the money to you again except for a $25 re restocking fee yeah. so the other big so it costs 50 bucks to check it out the other big question I know people ask is what is the limitation as far as uh, per month? Is there uh, uh, how much? Uh, it's data? unlimited data, and there, and that's it. It's unlimited, except for there's something called bandwidth hogging. Those are people who are first-person gamers, Bitcoin Bitcoin. miners, which I didn't even know what a Bitcoin miner is. I actually know what they are, and, they and things like that, to where you are really eating up a lot of data with live video feeds all day long. They, they, I've heard that it's at five to five fifty gigabytes in a month is where they start looking at you. Um, the average household uses between three and five hundred gigabytes with four users. So, you know, I you can stream all day on Netflix thirty days a month, and you're not going to have a problem. It's just those big users that would have a problem. Yeah, and two questions that Sherry came up with for us was, um, we're in a house, and so we had to have another house in Arizona. So Sherry goes, can we take that with us? And the answer is, of course. And that's where this comes in handy for any traveler. Yeah, you take it anywhere. Uh, as long as you have a service, right? RVers, it's great for RVers. Uh, it's also great for traveling salesmen, somebody who travels and stays in different hotels all the time. And some hotels have great internet, some hotels have bad internet. Yep. The bottom floor of the internet's great, the top floor of the internet's poor. They just take this, the company pays for it. And uh, you have great internet everywhere you go where you have good cell phone service. Yeah. So the other question that came up, and it, it's a no, but uh, it was a uh, question that some people might have, is can I hook up more than one box to one cell phone account? And the answer is no. no. Each box runs on its own account. I do have big users that have two boxes, and they run the first one for 15 days, they run the second one for 15 days, so they stay underneath that 500 to 550 gig area where they start looking at you funny yes, yeah. um, without being throttled because you will get throttled if you go over. That's for extensive use like your kids, you know, Big three, time. three kids playing video games and up upstairs while you're watching Netflix. You might be pushing it. <laughs> yes. So uh, anyway, uh, on the phone, um, we've uh, uh, Scott has done interviews with us with uh, some of you might even remember the interview we did. Uh, with, uh, I want to mention that you're also really involved with Dish Network still. Oh yes, still a dish retailer. And he's been getting, he gets phone calls from all over the United States. And sometimes there's some things that really Scott can help you with. And I've helped a lot of people. Yeah. I enjoy the phone calls sometimes. It's, it's been great. Yeah. And, uh, and if you can do business with Scott, I'm telling you, uh, he follows up. He, I'll just let you know what he did for me. Uh, just to tell you the integrity is, uh, we drove up from uh, Arizona. Uh, we had a tight schedule. I said, I've got to have internet when I get here. And he says, well, I'll, I'm ready for you. Well, it turns out with this COVID stuff, uh, cell phone service to set up that part was not available over the weekend. Right. They won't activate the boxes currently. Yeah. They're brand a newer company. Yeah, and, and, and they couldn't activate on the weekend. Yeah, because uh, you might get COVID on the phone. That's right. You might get COVID on, on, on Saturday. You might get COVID, but you yeah. won't get on on a Friday. Yeah, yeah. So uh, he was. He still showed up, and guess what he did? He gave, gave me the demo, which was actually even better to use while, over the weekend, uh, just because that's his integrity. He did not have to do that, um, and so little things like that is what Scott does. And so I would not be on this uh, uh, interview with him and, and, and talking about his integrity and his morals 
and ethics are all high. And so uh, I do, he's a person to talk to. And please, uh, if you can do business with Scott, he's in the Oregon area. Yep, Central but Oregon. He's helped people from all over the United States. I've talked to some of you people out there that watched the previous DISH video, and you would talk to other people that didn't sound like they really might know what they were talking about or they were questionable. And I've boxed up and I've shipped my product to people in Texas and in Florida that have contacted me through your video. Um, and this is even easier to do. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, I want to thank you very much for the interview. Well, thanks for having me, Rob, again. I'm so impressed with the... Uh, Uh-oh, were we supposed to do that? <laughs> <laughs> we're so impressed with the equipment. Performance has been wonderful. Uh, I have tested. I've live-streamed on it. I've done everything. And uh, so... It's not just coming from him, it's coming from someone that actually tested it, too. It's, it's a good piece of equipment. So uh, if there was any uh, issues I'd be worried about, I'd do a follow-up video. But um, Scott's never, you know, he's always been straight up with us. So anyway, give him a call. It's worth it. And what's the name of your company? Central Oregon Satellite, based out of Terrebonne, Oregon. All right. And it should be on the screen. And uh, I'll also put a couple of pictures in of what the modem looks like on the window. Sure. It's very uneventful. <laughs> There's nothing to it. You plug it in, you let it go for 10 minutes, and it's rocking. <laughs> it, was ter it was fantastic. So I want to thank you for watching. Please take the time to contact Scott. And uh, uh, if you're looking for internet and you've had difficulty with internet, if you're traveling and the internet's been a problem, I think this is a product you want. So thank you for uh, listening, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.